Well, economics matters because it has an enormous impact on government policy uh, and, on, and on policies which affect all of us in everyday lives. Employment, investment and our incomes, all of these are determined by economic policies. Economics um, is, if you want, a science uh, that I think should be defined by the questions that it asks. And I think it asks important questions about uh, you know, how to generate prosperity in a society, how to generate stability in a society, how to generate inclusion in a society, um, how to generate sustainability in a society. The basic laws of economics still matter because they can explain uh, why we see certain outcomes, why prices go up and down, why you know, demand and supply, uh, what happens to, to behavior, to, to uh, consumers, uh, it has uh, some weaknesses because it doesn't address a lot of issues uh, when it comes to fairness, equality, uh, and also um, human happiness overall. The way I see economics <laughs> is that it's a lens of looking at society and how society is structured, but also how it can change. Economics matters because it's the only social science that manages to do two things. The first thing is to explain the world. So does anthropology, so does political science, right? What's so special about economics? Economics is also a thing in the world. Economic knowledge is not just endogenous, it's causal. One of the big problems in the world has been that economics has been treated as this very technical thing which is out of the reach of ordinary people. And that's terrible because the impact of economic processes and economic policies is so significant on everyone's lives that it's too important to be left to economists. There's hardly a better or at least more striking definition of economics uh, than the one Adam Smith left us. Economics is the science of opulence, a science whose purpose is the enrichment of both the people and the sovereign, uh, he stated. So with a bit of help from Marx, we could tweak this definition and replace opulence with the way society secures the material circumstances of its existence. The human um, interventions, the, the choices that we make, the priorities that um, are explicit or implicit in the decisions that we take and the winners and losers um, um, as a result of those decisions. Um, but the fundamental question that we need to figure out how to allocate, how to utilize, how to maximize, how to distribute resources in order to make the life of humanity better. Well, obviously we all know what it does. It you know, involves the production of goods, involves a means of exchange and uh, a way of marshalling resources for that production. What's happened with economics, which makes it not matter so much, is it's kind of pulled itself out of this cube of multi-layered network to consider itself in isolation. In its present condition in the United States and most of the world, the academic discipline that goes by the name of economics is of no consequence except to a few thousands who make their living by holding down sinecures in the field. What passes for empirical work in the discipline is largely dominated by statistical exercises and forecasting models, which are based on the prevailing theories and have as a result a very long record of failure.